Hello everyone! Thanks for joining me here. My name is, of course, Mr. Mobile Lover. Let's continue playing with our Lord, our new Lord and Savior, Carl I of Austria. I know last episode was tragic. Especially on November 21st, 1916, with the passing of our great Savior, Franz Joseph I. Bless his soul. But, with every ending, there must be a new beginning. Unless Jesus Christ is coming down, he's going to kill everyone. But other than that, we got a new beginning here with Carl I. Hello, Carl. Hope you're having a great day. Please lead our country into the realm of success. Because right now, things are looking okay. They're not bad. Honestly, they're not bad. I mean, against Italians, I mean, we're losing boys, but we're definitely losing less than Italians and the French and English down here. And in Germany, between Germany and France, we're holding out. We've actually sent our own divisions to help out the Germans, which actually I'm going to bring up right now. Oh, well, maybe in a little bit. And the Turks are holding out pretty darn well as well. They've actually reclaimed some territory from the Russians. And of course, we've expanded into Russia quite a bit, but the Germans are attacking with me, trying to help attack several key areas as well. Now, I checked last time. At the end of the last episode, at, or actually the, after the end of the last episode, I wanted to see what the manpower was like for everyone, as well as the equipment levels. Basically, everyone's out of guns. I guess technically, except for me. Pretty much everyone has no guns, and that's why the Russians and the Germans, or at least that's why the Germans are attacking Russia and not getting defeated immediately. It's because the Russians are more out of guns than the Germans. Now, that being said, of course, I'm out of field artillery and motorized, which we're trying to fix. But, this is oh, the scary situation we have right now. Look at these German divisions. Look how weak they are. Against ten Russian divisions, four, six over here, five, five. I believe that I am going to have to call an audible very soon in which all of my divisions are going to have to assume a position on the entire Eastern Front. That's going to severely weaken our offensive capabilities. But I think it is a must-do. We have to do that. There's like no... Nothing that there's nothing we can do except have having to do that. Ooh, press minorities. I like that. Oh, what? Oh, um, but that being said, that's gonna be very, very dangerous for us because we won't be able to really do any offensive doctrines or anything really offensive. Four more shoots, shoots, car. Just, uh, we don't really need to do that. Troops at Bulgaria. Yeah, we don't need to do that either. Recruitment campaign. We're okay on manpower. I mean, we're not demobilized anymore, and we still have a crap ton of manpower. What we need are more guns. So we need more factories and stuff like that. Unify the realm, that would be actually be pretty good to do. Massive efforts. Coastal defense, that would be good. Civilian, ooh, that would be good as well. But, let's go ahead and get maybe another civilian factory so we can continue building more things. Now, like I said, we need more factories. So we'll get one, and then we'll get a two. And we'll still be building things and repairing a lot of stuff as well. Oh, oh yeah, we also just finished something here. I think it was trench mortars. That's what we just finished, guys. Next up. It's 1916. What can we use? Uh, we're pretty good on here. We don't really need to do another police military... military police too for pretty much the rest of the game. Ooh. Normal cavalry. As cavalry play less, there's no space there. We're not really producing these, so I'm not really going to be concerned about it. Really, the wars will be probably one with infantry? I don't know. Better recon, production efficiency cap, construction speed could be good. Ooh, faster construction speed, and we can get better trenches. You know, let's do that just in case, because I don't know how long we can really hold out here on the Italian front. I mean, we've been doing a great job here so far, but I mean, the infrastructure, eh, it's, it's gotten taken a couple hits, as well as the forts, as well as the trenches themselves. And it constantly sounds like someone's trying to enable invade me. But maybe I'm just going crazy. Oh, well, we have 13 destroyers, guys. That's pretty good. We're about to have 14. And we're about to have another dreadnought, a level 3 dreadnought. And then we're going to try to go out in the water, maybe sink a boy or two. All right. How are these battles going? We have to know. Uh, yeah, you guys are not winning here, so. Oh, new infantry on Oh, actually, there's only four divisions here. We might be able to do well. It is a marsh, though. That's kind of bad. Uh, let's see. Industry. I'm all about this this industry here. More construction speed, please. 61. Yeah, please win here. Oh, wait. Uh, you guys stop attacking that direction. Heal up for now. Because I might divert you over here. Eight. Oh, it's eight. 
Oh yeah, you guys stop attacking. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Uh, send half of your boys. Help, help them over here. If we can take the marsh, since it's so good on defense, it'll be hard for them to reclaim that. Ooh, what are we doing? Oh, we're attacking seven more divisions over here. Not exactly winning, but there might be a way for us to win. Uh, yeah, you have no upgrades. All right, then. Good. Keep the pressure on them. The more pressure we put on the Russians, the better, so that the Germans won't get completely walloped eventually. Uh, you guys help out as well. We have to attack over a river eventually. Uh, so far, so good. 66, 52... Oh, they're, they're definitely moving their soldiers around. But they are not really attacking the Turks. Interesting. Oh, they're attacking... Well, I guess they are attacking the Turks, since we don't know how many divisions they have. Who's the Portuguese and everyone else? 37, good. But yeah. I, I'm i really concerned that we're going to have to call an audible towards the Eastern Front. The Germans are just so weak, they don't have enough equipment. But come on, guys, there's only 9 divisions here. There's only 9 divisions. We've only lost 351,000 of our soldiers. Hopefully, those were all the minorities in our country. Just saying. Because the Austrians are just... We're the real leaders. And we can't, you know, lose the real leaders of the country. It's called Austria. Hungary. For a reason. Austria's first. That's why we're the most important. Austria-Hungary. It's not Hungary-Austria. No, that just means we want Turkey. No. That was a terrible joke. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Uh, actually... You guys, since you probably only you don't need those guys, come here. Help defend the border with the Germans. Actually, I might be able to extend the front line here just to maybe a tad. Extend the entire front line there. So that, that way the French might be more inclined to attack if there's less divisions per province. Uh, is there anything I can do? War bonds are still very good. Improved work, can, uh, improved worker conditions might be good as well. Maybe not, though. Still making those factories. Good. We really need a lot more build guns. We, we will need some more infantry equipment, though, which is kind of a problem. So, let's go up to that amount. I'm always out of artillery. Always. Never a situation in which I'm never in a good spot with artillery until pretty much mid to late game. Are we win? Are we... We lost this battle. God dang it. These guys are winning. Maybe we can help our German allies out. Ah, oh, you guys are already attacked, so it wouldn't really help. Uh, we might have won a battle here. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Five? Uh, yeah, these guys are winning anyways. That's good. Yeah, we got... They're attacking from multiple different directions. You guys stop. Send in some more fresher units so you don't just lose a bunch of soldiers. Good. It, the Russians... I, I don't think the Russians will really break yet. They don't... Of course, they're out of equipment, but we we don't have a ton of equipment either. Oh, Germany, stop attacking like that. That's a little crazy. You're winning here. I really don't want to help you here, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Over here, yeah, we learned our lesson. We're not going to attack there. Ooh, this is occupation. Backups. Oh, I need 20. Oh, my God, I need 29 divisions. Oh, we got holes here. That's not good. Uh... Uh, we, we have to have these guys here, though. Ah, oh, it's so bad. I need these divisions, like, out now. Yeah, it's bad, because they're really weak, but I need those divisions. Germany, why? This is why I'm thinking about calling an audible. Six. Uh, once the Germans are done attacking here, since my soldiers are pretty much ready to go, eh, maybe, maybe we'll give them a little extra boost right now. Because they, seem, they might be winning that battle. On this front, though, it looks like the Russians are definitely made a solid front line over in the Baltics. This is dangerous. It's very dangerous up here. Uh, the other fronts are pretty quiet, though. Nice, we have 15 battleships, 15 destroyers. Awesome. Uh, I don't want to try this. I suppose I could. Search and destroy, since their battleships are pretty good. Level 3 Dreadnought. How does that compare to a level 2 Dreadnought? Let me lower the speed just by a little bit. So, the level 3, of course, is... I think on top. Yes, it's on top. So level three has better, slightly better speed, slightly better range, slightly better evasion, uh, a little bit more HP actually. Uh, same supply use, low, quite a bit more naval firepower, more armor, more piercing. Of course, this is level one. I did upgrade this just a tiny bit. <clears throat> better firing range, better shore, shore bombardment, 
<clears throat> excuse me, better anti-air, and a little better surface detection and sub-detection. Alright, so I would say that's not a huge upgrade, but it's still a pretty good one. Oh, hello, my enemy navies. Please don't destroy all my destroyers, even though they are fairly inexpensive to build compared to dreadnoughts. Come on, give me those big old boys. Nice. Our ships are firing on the enemy, which is really, really good. And I know we're going to lose some ships here. No! Uh, let's lower the speed by a little bit. Oh, we're getting attacked. That's fine. 25, good. Adriatic, yes. Oh! We did win a battle here. Nice. Very good. Take half of you guys. Help push these guys out. Uh, take half of you guys, too, and push these guys out as well. Uh, send one that way, to, just for the, the giggles. For the giggles. Uh, all but one, help attack north. I mean, I guess technically, since you have ten divisions, I can take two of you guys <clears throat> and continue to put more pressure on these four divisions. Oh, oh god, no, the Russians have landed on a port. Oh, that's so bad. Ugh. But how is this going? We've lost nine destroyers, which is pretty much to be expected. Oh, good, what has happened? So, we lost a destroyer in one battle. We sunk an enemy heavy cruiser. That is 14. Uh, I think those are light cruisers. And then 8 destroyers. Not bad. Alright, battle. Next battle. Commence. Oh no. Alright, well, that was pretty good. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and repair just because I don't want all of my destroyers sunk in like two battles. I mean, yeah, they're cheap to produce, but I'd still rather have them alive. Oh my god, Germany. Come on. Please stop just killing your own soldiers off. You're like the it Italy of the Central Powers. These guys are attacking like crazy. Oh, we're getting attacked down here. Uh, yeah, we don't have anyone garrisoning that. Oh, another Adriatic battle? Uh, we wanted to repair, but I mean, we want to blow them up. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, they, they don't want me to move. I mean, they know to go, but... Oh, sterilization effort. So don't no, don't worry. We're not starting a national vasectomy campaign. Thank God, I'm still, I'm still okay here. So as, as, as well as Carl. Part of the horror of war is filth. The image of a surgeon armed deep in a patient with blood from another man on his hands is common, but that's not good. Ensuring that there are more appropriate, <clears throat> wait, appropriate san sanitation measures taken for our medics can stop them from doing more harm than good. <clears throat> So somehow that will affect supply consumption. So, all right, I'm down with that. Better recon. Better recon could really help in our battles. Ooh, efficiency cap though. Yeah, they, they're the same amount of time needed. So let's do that. How, how badly have we beat up the, the Italian navy? Thirty-two, sh about thirty ships. We so we have more ships than them. Portugal has less than ships than us. Let's see, Denmark and the other matter. Japan. How about you? Oh my! <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. 172 ships, maybe. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, happy 1917. Hope you're having a great one. Hope you're going to live long and prosper and not end up fighting in a terrible war like this. But let's be real. Our future doesn't look that great. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Too, too realistic here. Too realistic. All right. Uh, are we done? Oh, we're done building those military factories. That's good. So that, that means we just need more of them. Never use enough guns. Oh, now we're in a deficit of guns. God dang it. That'll be good. Alright. The Russians seem fairly weak. Ah, uh, we could probably help them out there. You guys, eh, probably not a good idea to attack. You help out the attack here. Take half you guys. Attack there. Take half you guys. Attack here. Help our soldiers out. Our fellow men. Yeah, we're not attacking that position. We're over a river, or potentially can attack elsewhere from a river, which is extremely good. Uh, you help out the attack here, so we can move our soldiers up across the river. And the rest of the river is pretty much doing fine. This looks disgusting. This honestly looks really disgusting. I wish I could take these guys out, but I don't have enough divisions really to do that. And actually, since we're kind of guarding the line, there's seven German divisions and two of my own guys. I, I don't want to say it's safe or smart to pull these guys out and put them in Turkey, but it might be safe and smart to do that. Go ahead. We'll slowly start moving some of our soldiers away and see what happens. What's going on here in Italy? Uh, our men? 
Not your expert. Level 6 still. Any traits? Skilled staffer? He's he's almost a skilled staffer, wow. So he can command up to 30 divisions at a time. Expert delegator. Trickster. Commando? No. Invader? No. Engineer? No. Cavalry? Pantulator? Of course not. Interesting. Uh, oh, did we repair that fast? Are we... Did we repair that fast? I guess we did. Great. Go and blow up those enemy ships, especially that Portuguese battleship. Uh, but I really don't want to lose any destroyers. Ah, the pride of the of our navy. Ah, very good. Well, I'm going to leave them there for now. Probably they're going to get all destroyed because I'm not going to be watching this that that area very much. Since you're going to be over here anyways, you might as well help out attack. And you might as well help out as well. Hmm, this tech isn't going as well as we thought anymore. So let's help them out. <clears throat> let's help our boys out. And it's, yes, it's across a river. It's never a good idea to attack across a river, but I don't care. Yeah, I'm not going to help out there. Come on, you need to push these guys out of here. And then, yes, there we go. Oh, oh, maybe we'll win, maybe we won't. Carl, do you have an upgrade? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good That's a good upgrade. Infantry expert. Ah, oh, we've taken it. We've broken over part of the river here. This will be a great day for us. Uh oh. Are about another battle? Hmm. Not really. Not really. Alright. Uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna have to do something bad here. My apologies. My bad there. There's someone... Okay, so I have my system set up to um, receive notifications and Thank you to whoever subscribed, but uh, that was the reason for the black spoons. Be completely honest with you guys. So. Oh, construction effort three. Two. I can read. Construction effort two. We have another civilian factory. Oh, we can get two more. Ooh. Infrastructure level. I don't know. More civilian factories sound kind of nice. Yeah. We can build more. Nice. So we're at least over the ridge, over the water. How are these guys holding up? You have two divisions, two divisions. So I think the cavalry made it down here. That's good. That's very good. I think we we're, we already have a lot of success here holding out. Uh, I'm gonna move this one more tile over, just so that we can have more coverage over here. Just a little. Oh wait, that's a, that's quite a bit more coverage. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, Nikes. Oh my gosh, look at all those ships. Uh, you know, I, I like being confident, but they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 7, 10, 12. That's 12 battleships. I don't believe I can really do that. Go ahead. Just repair now. Just go ahead. Come, come home. Take a break. Take a smoke break. Repair now. Don't, don't engage. That's a lot of ships. As much as we want to kill those enemy ships, it's just not a good idea. Go ahead and retreat. It's a tactical retreat. It's not a full-on retreat. Yeah, so you're here, and we're trying to get, and we're getting navally invaded. That's all right. So we're over the river, which is good. I need to attack here. I need to attack several locations. We can probably, we might be able to win against six divisions here. Uh, if we do this and then do that, we tell you force an attack. A little bit more strength when we attack. Uh, we're, oh my god, we're really out of guns now. But we almost have our motorized deficit, and we have enough support equipment, which is good. Hmm. Sutarol, yeah, that'll help them out a little bit more. Infrastructure here is pretty damaged. When do we get our next ship? Oops, my bad. We'll get a couple more destroyers, that'll be coming in handy. Take those hits for our <clears throat> dreadnoughts. Ooh, uh, more recon is always good. I guess better fighter detection, I suppose, as well. Uh, we're almost done with war bonds. Oof. Good. We're winning this battle very nicely. Very, very nicely. There's six divisions. Oh, that's re six really weak divisions. Slowly expanding into Russia while it's winter. That's a terrible idea. It's so bad, even our my general. He's sick. Oh, we're not winning this battle. This is not looking good. But... You never know what might happen. Early light machine gun. More defense and more soft attack. Good. Good job, guys. 
It is 1917, like I said earlier. What are some things that we can do? Better reinforce rate. Better sub-attack air. I've kind of completely neglected. Naval doctrine could be useful. Uh, next ships, I need our 1918, as well as artillery. Uh, we're still doing land doctrine. We could do armored cars, but eh. Engineering. Let's get better reinforce rate. That'll help our entire front out, probably. Come on, guys. At least went down here. If we can't win up here, at least do it a little more further south. So far, we are doing well here, which is good. Very reassuring. Uh, that's six divisions against nine. It's just not enough. I gotta stop doing so many attacks. Oh my gosh. Are you attacking me here again, guys? Seriously? Seriously? Just making this guy super strong. Marco Bergen. Ah, we... Well... We already have infantry leaders, so we get more defense automatically. But we could get more attack, or we get be get better entrenchment. Well, since you are technically the backups, and you are only 10 wits, I don't really need you to attack. I have enough. I have other armies that are stationed or created for attacking, so let's get better defense. We get better recon, and these guys will pretty much be impossible to uproot, hopefully at this point. That should be good. Oh, do you have any upgrades, Heinz Lippert? No? Darn. That's okay, though. We all can't be perfect. Now I'm going to take another one division and place him into the Middle East. Should be good. Oh, we're not exactly winning this battle anymore. Uh, hold on. We're going to tell you to stop. We'll tell you to replace them. We'll tell you to stop, and you'll replace them. And you guys are still pretty good. Uh, six divisions could go against... Maybe, uh, it's winter, it's winter, and they're in a swamp. That's almost impossible to attack. Uh, what about this place? This is... Uh, clear. It's a marsh. Marshes are very tough to attack. To have more attrition, to have a chance to get sick. It's just not worth attacking that. It's just best to wait until summer. And then... Oh, uh, we won here, though. That's good. Which actually opens up quite a few more places where I can maybe strike in. Uh, Arthur, do you have anything? Oh, Arthur, you do have something. You have quite a bit for us. You have two traits, but we can only get one right now. Since we're not going to attack, and we are suffering from a little bit of attrition, let's get better supply throughput, and then we'll go for infantry experts, since we want to really not attack. Does anyone else have upgrades? Felix Sturm, you're a guerrilla fighter. I love it, but that's really not going to help us right now. Oh shit, we're losing a battle. Why do you... Oh my gosh, that's a ton of divisions. Uh, one guy, you might be able to hold out here by yourself. Oh, or maybe not. Uh, before you leave, please come back here. We need you here. Mata Hardy executed the Dutch courtesan. Margaretha MacLeod, better known by the public as Mata Hardy, has been tried and executed for espionage by France. Oh. Though found guilty easily, complaints of a fixed trial from the defense attorney and seemingly exaggerated charges such as responsibility for the deaths of 50,000 French soldiers are arousing whispers of the so-called master spy being nothing more than a scapegoat for the army's failings. Oh. She staked her life and they executed her for it. Hmm. I wonder if we can maybe rile up some more anti-French army sentiment within France. Hmm. Interesting. But I do need more guns. Oh crap, oh yeah, let's do that. Suit the roll. Uh, yeah, at this point, I, I just need more soldiers. Like, seriously, please po poop these guys out as fast as possible. Infantry division? Yeah, that's pretty weak. I don't want that. We have 28 guys here, which is good. We still don't have enough to cover everything that we want, but it's still pretty good. Uh, we have 32 ships, 15, 9. Alright, it's, it's March, so things should be a little easier to do. I hope to God that the Germans don't have another offensive, at least in the Baltics, for a while. Please, Germany, you need to rest. They have almost four million casualties. UK is one and a half. France is at almost at three. That's interesting. And Russia has lost, lost less at 2.25. France. Alright, that's how much manpower they have. The UK is at less than a million. Good. Italy is less than 300,000. The Turks are at 120,000. That's terrible. The Russians are at about a million. Oh, oh, and they're attacking. They are attacking all over the place. Hmm. 
Oh, at least as long as we're winning, we're draining them of their resources. Guys, don't attack Germany. Ottomans, please. Please don't attack. Don't be suicidal. And actually, you guys can be brought back to him. That'll be good. Yeah, that'll be really good. It's 1917, and another year has passed, of course, since we started. Uh, this is a marsh. God dang, I hate Russia. It's so filthy, so muddy. Oh, oh, actually, we have too many soldiers here. Which means it's time to reformulate our line. Uh, we have enough political power to do this. Oh, wait, Panzer leader. We haven't made any Panzers, though. How can you be a Panzer leader if we haven't made anything things called Panzer Kampfwagen? What? But regardless, that's okay. Ah, uh, good. Infantry expert this time. Now, since he's gotten all his soldiers, we're going to put you onto him. We'll put you onto him. So now, we're at least, we're at five. Five armies. How long will it... It's probably going to take too long for him to become a skilled staffer. Yeah. Oh, we're getting attacked here again. Uh... Oh, it's paused. That's what's going on. 33 ships. Nice. We'll have another Dreadnought for long. And, we're, of course, we are repositioning our soldiers. But we should have a little bit more attack this time as we try to smash through the German lines. Oh, Mexico refused a German offer. Arthur Zimmerman has authorized a diplomatic offer to Mexico asking for Mexican support against the Entente in exchange for German support in the case of American intervention. And, of course, territorial compensation in the latter case. Mexico has, of course, refused this agreement, but will they remain neutral? Hmm. Uh, honestly, I don't know why you would ask Mexico at all, seeing as they were in a civil war within the past, like, three, four, five years. They don't seem very, like, strong in terms of a nation. I mean, maybe Canada's the strongest one here besides the United States, but... I mean, they're fairly stable, but... Nah. They're still reeling probably from the civil war. There's a reason why they're called the Mexican opposition. But, yeah, whatever. Are we still losing this battle? Yes, we are. And we're losing that battle as well. Kind of. Please don't invade me. Those from Balkans, whatever. Alright, so it looks like Germans have decided, or someone, maybe the Romanians, have decided to attack. Oh, the Bulgarians have, of course. It would be one of those guys. Six. I really want to attack this position. I mean, I really want this position here. Please, for the love of God. At least, you're going to do what you need to do, and doing that is to distract the enemy. Hopefully they'll pull divisions off the front line. They're probably not, though. Please, come on, guys. Uh, level 6 general, though. He isn't complete dum-dum. Hmm. Go attack 8. Maybe we'll attack this position, actually, instead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Maybe we'll attack this. This is 6 as well. But, it is planes. It's planes. And I have quite a few divisions here that could uh, help out. Let's give our guys a little bit more rest before we try to attack again. And uh, see what magic we can make. It is quite a few divisions. I doubt we could really probably break through, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, construction effort three. Good. Uh... Better infrastructure will help you build things faster. Naval guns. Aviation effort. I haven't really done any for that. Uh, let's get some naval doctrine, actually. Even was only 20%. That, that'll that still be kind of nice for a little bit more of a research boost. Uh, one, two... So far, we're, we're doing very well in the front down there. Ooh, what's going on here? I really don't want to do this. But let's see what we can do. If the enemy start calling in some ships that we can't really beat up, then we'll, we'll definitely try to kill them. No, don't win. Don't lose that battle now. I said don't lose. Uh, I need one of you guys back here, please. Oh, there's only four ships, which is good. Come on, battleships. you got to move a little faster than that. Alright, seven ships. That's not bad. Nine. That's, that's still not bad. Please find their convoys and blow them up. Oh, we did not win that battle. That's unfortunate. God, it's so hard to try to freaking beat the Russians. This is so much mud. There's nowhere really good to attack. Nine divisions up here. Uh, honestly, I need more command power. That's what I really need. 
How's this going? Eight, nine. Yeah, they don't. They don't really want to fight us. For the love of God, just please, just kill the convoys. I need you to kill their convoys so badly right now. It's not even funny. Or, or, or their ships. I don't care. Just make sure we don't lose this territory, because that would be suicidal for us. That'd be very bad. Very, very bad. So the eastern front is pretty much all quiet. Uh, we're, we're so far out of guns. What, where are we? I wish there was a button where you could see, like, we're losing guns from mostly this this theater of war. Ooh, defensive bunker. Ooh, more land forts. I like that. This front is very quiet as well. Italy's pretty quiet. This area's pretty quiet. I'm very surprised my ships haven't found anybody yet. Very, very surprised. Uh, ten divisions. Six. We could try it again, I suppose. There's not really much else for us to do at the moment. 64. That would go down to 63, I'm sure. Because we're not really advancing that well. Oof. Six. I mean, we could try it. We got, we got a bunch of divisions. It's probably a terrible idea to attack this spot, but... Someone's got to try it. We are, we're only out of 11,000 guns. That's all. Oh my gosh. So we lost three destroyers. Uh, they have quite a few battleships. Come on, battleships. We've sunk at least 16 destroyers right now. Advanced hand tools. Good. Eh. Oh, what's this? Oh, line attack. More, more soft attack. Ooh. Come on, battleships. Blow them all up. Up. We sunk an armor cruiser. This is going to be one hell of a devastating battle for us. We're going to lose all our heavy cruisers. But it's going to be so worth it, hopefully. For the love of God, please. Battleships, you're doing great. You're doing an absolutely phenomenal job. Don't... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. We lost two battleships. Oh, no. We lost three of them. Oh, God. That's not good. We have definitely more ships than them. Oh, this is one hell of a battle. All right. So you guys definitely have to go back home. So we lost all our armor cruisers. We lost three battleships. What else? What else happened? So, like I said, we lost three battleships. Uh, we lost only pre-dreadnoughts, so that's not bad. We only lost the pre-dreadnoughts, not like our dreadnought threes or our dreadnought twos. We lost our three old armored cruisers, which is terrible, but it could be worse. And we lost a single destroyer. Obviously, that's a lie since we only have three left. But we sunk 19 Japanese or and Portuguese destroyers. We sunk 10 battleships. 10. Seven light cruisers, three battle cruisers, and then six armored cruisers. Oh my gosh. Mikolos Horthy, I know you're doing a great job. You're absolutely doing a great job. You're just doing the best that you possibly can right now. Oh my god, it's just it's so devastating. This ship, the Dreadnought, this Dreadnought 2 has sunk 37 enemy ships. I mean, we have a small, small navy, but my god, we have killed so many sailors from enemy nations. It's not even funny. Yeah, you, you have to repair. There's there's no doing anything else. Just, you have to repair. You must repair. Yeah, this front is definitely stalled out right now. Ugh. If I move my soldiers from here, would the Germans be able to hold out? That's a good question. That I don't know the answer to. Hmm. Oh, we have better radio, and I will end the episode soon. But... Sub attack, I guess we might as well since we might still have a few subs left. I don't know. Do we? We don't have enough command power yet. I don't want to attack, but we could try it, I suppose. Oh, we're still trying up here, which is not going super great. But what we're going to do, we're going to continue attacking. Take you guys, help attack as well. We're going to grind these guys down because if we can take that marsh, they can't just beat us here if we take the territory because it's so good at on defense. <gasps> Another division! Yes, actually, I'll take you and I'm going to throw you right into the backups. Oh my god, this is not good. Can't lose this. I cannot lose this province. Because it is a port. If we lose the port, it's all over, pretty much. On this coast. Ships are repairing. Tons of ships to repair. Oh, actually, only six ships to repair. I need to make some more naval dockyards. Seriously, how can they attack so much? So bad. Please, please win the battle somewhere. That would be great if we could. I can make us really happy. Uh, you guys stopped attacking. Constant attacks. Wear them out. Wear them down. I know this is terrible for my supply situation right now. But we are winning. We are winning. This could prove to be very, very good for us. If we can just push through these marshes. We did it. We freaking did it. 
bunch of bastards. A bunch of Austro-Hungarian bastards. We actually did it. And now the Germans are attacking in the Baltic. I think that's a great place to stop for this episode. Oh, my God. Oh, and the Russians are attacking over here again. God dang it. But we've done some pretty good things. So, what has happened in this episode? So, we've, we've pretty much defended mostly. Like, again. But, the Japanese are a bunch of mad lads, and they're attacking this position constantly, again and again and again. Which, actually, I probably need to do this. But, we have shown the world that with such a small navy, we can really do some serious, extreme damage to enemy navies. I mean, I don't know how many ships we've killed, but I know it's at least over 100, probably over 150, probably not 200 yet, but... My god, we've killed so many enemy ships. So many Italian, and Portuguese, and Japanese soldiers have died. Sailors have died, just for no reason. Of course, the Italian front's holding very well, as well as the French front, as well as the Ottoman and Turkish front, and we have expanded just slightly in the east, no matter how hard it is. But at this point, what we really need to do is just make more weapons. If I can, I'm going to be very careful for the next couple attacks, and we'll just continue trying to make more weaponry. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow. As we prepare for more uh, interesting maneuvers, both in the East, the Middle East, and probably in the, on the Balkan coast. Thank you very much for watching.